Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new oils and express oils and the differences. The oils and acrylics have been moved into the same tool. And you have a bunch of different options here, and we'll go into these after I explain a little bit more of the differences between those two. The express oils are faster, they're lower latency, and they don't have impasto depth. And so this will keep the process of doing underpaintings, concept design, uh, a lot, a lot quicker and easier to lay down colors. So we're gonna lay down some base colors here. And I have this on just painting mode and we're gonna go over here to uh, paint and blend. And we have the beautiful pigment. Mixing turned on. So you can see Even with my computer uh, recording the screen, recording the webcam, and recording audio from a third source, uh, we're still able to get a lower latency, uh, nice, fast painting option for uh, oils. So here, let's go ahead and we're going to bring this up here so we can see and just kind of go through some of the different express oil brushes that are available. So let's go ahead and clear the canvas. All right, and let's look at these glazed ones. I like this one. Now let's look at the oil and acrylic brushes. Now these have been combined in Rebel 5. And these all have that impasto depth that you're used to from Rebel 4. It's been refined and made more controllable. So it's not as thick and mushy as some of the painting was in Rebel 4. This is a more controllable experience. So here let's look at some of the brushes here.
And just like in Rebel 4, you can adjust the impasto depth, making it thicker or flat. And you can adjust the gloss higher and lower. And if you turn on NanoPixel, that'll disable gloss, but that'll give you the option of zooming way in. You can turn this on and off if you have Rebel 5 Pro. Great features, especially if you want to make art that you can print, sell, or give to friends. Let's clear this layer. And let's look at the palette knife. that texture. This one here is one of my favorites. I just like this uh, pattern and texture here. It's pretty cool. All right, let's clear the layer again. Clear the layer. So it's a quick look at the oils and acrylic brushes. Now keep in mind these have the multicolored brush and the dirty brush properties that you can turn on and off that'll help give that even more realism. And we'll go into that in another video. So make sure that if you're not subscribed to this channel that you subscribe to make sure that you stay informed on your favorite painting program.